In this video, we're going to show you the exact steps that you should take to securely sell, trade in, or give away your Mac, knowing that all your information is permanently wiped and all your accounts are properly logged out. First, we'll show you what to do if you have an Intel Mac. Then we'll show you the steps for Macs with the Apple Silicon chip or the T2 chip running Mac OS Monterey. So basically, if you have a pre-2018 Mac, just keep watching. And if you have a 2018 or later Mac, you can skip ahead using the timecode link in the description. This currently applies to Catalina, Big Sur, and Monterey. If you're using an earlier version of the Mac OS, these steps might be slightly different. If you're not sure which model you have, just click on the Apple icon at the top left of your screen, click on About This Mac, and you'll see the model year and chip info there. So firstly, for Intel Macs, first you want to back up your files so you can eventually move them to your new computer. For this, you'll need an external storage device like a hard drive or cloud storage source like iCloud or your new computer. So any files that you don't want to lose, just make sure you either transfer them manually to the storage source or you can use Apple's Migration Assistant to move all your files to a new computer or drive. For a steps on how to use Migration Assistant, click on the link in the description. Once your files are all backed up, the next step is to sign out of your accounts, and we suggest doing it in this order. First, iCloud. iCloud will sign you out of all services connected to your iCloud account, such as the App Store, Music, Apple TV, Podcasts, and more. And however, if you are using a different Apple ID to log into any of these services, you'll need to sign out of those individually in the app. To sign out of iCloud, first, from the top left of your screen, click on the Apple icon. From the drop down, click on System Preferences, then click Apple ID. In the sidebar, click on Overview, then click Sign Out. You'll be asked whether you want to keep a copy of iCloud data on your computer. This means your contacts, calendars, etc. Anything that you have synced to iCloud, basically. Choose either an option here, really, because you'll be erasing your entire Mac later. Your iCloud data will stay in iCloud as well, or on any other device that you are signed into iCloud with your Apple ID. Next, we'll sign out of iMessage. So to sign out of iMessage, open the Messages app. Then from the menu bar, click on Messages. Then Preferences, click on iMessage. Then click on Sign Out. It will ask you if you're sure, click Sign Out. The next step is to unpair any Bluetooth devices that you plan to keep, like a Bluetooth keyboard, mouse, or trackpad. To unpair a Bluetooth device, choose the Apple icon, then click System Preferences, then click Bluetooth. Move your pointer over the device that you want to unpair, then click the X next to the name to remove it. The next step on an Intel Mac or any Mac without the T2 security chip, we recommend using File Vault to encrypt your hard drive before formatting it. So first, click on the Apple icon in the top left of your computer. From the drop down, click on System Preferences. Click on Security and Privacy. Click on the second tab, which says File Vault. Next, click on the lock icon at the bottom left of the security and privacy window. And when prompted, type in the password for your computer, then click unlock. Next, click on turn on file vault. You can choose either iCloud or a recovery key as the retrieval method. For this case, we'll choose the recovery key method. You may want to write this down just in case, but since we're about to erase this computer to sell it, we're just going to click on continue. Now it says encrypting. You'll see a progress bar and after a few minutes, it says encrypting finished. So now you've encrypted the data on your hard drive, it's time to erase it and restore the whole computer to like new. So for the pre-2018 Intel Max, here is what to do. Keep in mind an internet connection is needed for this process. First, click on the Apple icon in the top left of your computer and from the drop down, click on Restart. Then again, click on Restart. Now press the key combination Command R and hold this while the computer restarts. Then you can let go once you get to the Mac OS recovery screen. Choose your user profile and then click on Next. Enter the password for your computer profile, then click on Continue. 
From the recovery screen, choose Disk Utility, then click Continue. Then at the top of the screen under View, click on Show All Devices. Then from the list of hard drives on the left, click on your Apple SSD to select it, then click on Erase. This window will pop up and in the name field, delete Untitled, type in Macintosh HD. For most cases, the other fields can stay as is and then click on Erase. Now it begins erasing your hard drive. This may take a minute or two and then it will say erase process is complete and you can click done to continue. Click on the red X to exit disk utility. Now we will click on reinstall macOS Monterey and click on continue. Then again, click on continue. Loading installation information. So it may hang here for a few minutes while it prepares the installation. Agree to the software license. It asks you again if you read it. I'll click agree. Click on the Macintosh HD icon to choose where the software will be installed. Then click continue. Usually the install takes about an hour, hour and a half, but it will tell you an approximate time and let you know the time remaining. Once you see the screen to choose your country or region, then you'll know that the software installation is complete. And the Intel Mac has now been factory reset, completely erased, ready to sell, trade, or give away. The new user can now choose all their own preferences, language settings, make an account, etc, etc. It's all good to go. Now, for Macs with the Apple Silicon chip or Apple T2 chip running Mac OS Monterey, these previous steps are no longer necessary. So first, from the Apple menu in the top corner of your screen, choose System Preferences. From System Preferences in the top menu bar, then choose Erase All Content and Settings. Erase Assistant will open and asks you to sign in with your computer's password, enter your password, then click OK. If you're asked to back up your Mac before before resetting it, you can open Time Machine and back up to an external drive or click continue to proceed without making a new backup. So now it tells you that all settings, media and data will be erased as well as these other things here that will be removed. Click on continue. If you're asked to sign out of Apple ID, enter your Apple ID password and click continue. Click on erase all content and settings to confirm that you want to proceed. Your Mac restarts and shows a black screen or a progress bar. And once you see the screen asking you to select a language, then you know that the computer has been completely erased and it now needs to be activated. So next, choose your language, click the arrow to continue. You are now activating your Mac in order for it to be set up from scratch. You'll be prompted to connect to Wi-Fi, so in the top right of your screen, click on the Wi-Fi icon and choose your network. Put in your password and click on Join. Now it will take a minute or two to activate and then you'll see the message your Mac is activated. It will restart in one minute. So then it starts counting down or you can just click on restart. The computer will restart and you'll get back to the hello screen and that's when you'll know that the computer is completely erased, restored to factory settings and ready to be set up from scratch and you can safely sell, trade in or give away your Mac. If this video helped you out, give it a like and subscribe to Radio Tech for more tech tips, tricks, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.